Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. For those who don't know, my name is James. I'm a software engineer and I've been building mobile apps for a while now. And uh, what I'm doing with this series is I'm taking you guys through the journey of me building an app from start to finish. That way you can see the whole process and you can just come along with me throughout the whole thing. I've been trying to focus on one app per video, but I might change that up and start taking you guys through like a whole week so you can see all the different projects I'm working on. I have a bad habit of working on multiple things at once, so don't roast me. But for this video, we're talking about Finch, which is the AI finance app. So Finch is focusing on budgeting paycheck to paycheck. So it's, it's not as big of an outlook on money as all the other finance apps. I'm taking it very simple. Just focus on paycheck to paycheck. The AI piece of it is that there'll be an AI chat. And in the chat, you can chat with your finances. So you can ask it questions like, how much money did I spend on this trip? Or how do I save up for a car? or whatever, and you get an answer with no judgment right away. And then there's also gonna be another AI component, which is like AI smart notifications, because now the spot knows your finances, knows your behaviors, so it can start to help curb the bad spending, which is something I need. This is an app that's supposed to help me because I'm not the best with managing my money. So I'm trying to build something that can help keep me accountable, and then hopefully it can help other people as well. In this video, I'll take you guys through uh, a new feature that I added. Not really, it's, it's a pretty small feature. And then the big design change and why we went with that change. First, I'm gonna jump back into the code and build out that feature. I wanted to work on the transaction details for this part. So when you're viewing a transaction, you can see what bucket the transaction is in. You know, income, expenses, savings, whatever. So I wanted a way for the user to just easily switch those buckets just in case we get it wrong on the back end. So that's what I'm building out and I'm actually kind of happy with it. I made it very simple, like you can click the, click the bucket and then you'll see all the different categories pop up that you can easily just swipe through and add. I saw this in one of the apps that I was looking through when I did some research. So I didn't fully come up with this idea on my own. Um, so I liked it and I just went with it. In this app, we don't want it to be like a normal budgeting app. It's not focused on min-maxing your budget to every detail and every like food, bars, you know, entertainment. I've never been good or stuck to any of those budgets. The focus here is a concept of safe to spend. So each paycheck, what we'll do is we'll, as soon as you get paid, we'll tell you how much goes to income, how much is your expenses based off your savings goal, and then we'll do some math and then we'll figure out how much money you actually can spend. So at the very beginning, when you first get paid, instead of seeing your whole, let's say $2,000 paycheck, we'll subtract out rent, your car payment, and we'll say, hey, this page period, you're gonna have, you know, $1,000 come out for bills. So you only have 1,000 safe to spend. And the goal is not to focus on where that money goes, just don't overspend. That's really the simple goal of this app, to just don't overspend. So after the categories, I then had a meeting with my co-founder to discuss some pain points with the design. One is that the safe to spend bucket counts down, which is different than the other buckets, which count up. You know, so the way the initial design had it is your safe to spend number was what you had left and the transactions in there didn't really add up to anything. But in all the other buckets that look exactly the same, they function differently. So I didn't like that. And then the other thing is my co-founder wanted a way to easily set a savings goal. That was a miscommunication between us because I thought he was saying when a transaction goes to saving, that's where he wants to mark it. But what he wants is to be able to easily, as soon as he gets paid, set a new goal for savings and then that immediately subtracts from his safe to spend. So what we decided was we'd completely redesign it and I went back to the drawing board and I did some research. I wanted to change the layout to have a huge number at the top that tells the user, hey, this is how much you can spend, right? So that way there's no guessing. And then we could have all the other categories and maybe more visualize how the breakdown is for that pay period, right? We're pretty much making it really simple. There's expenses, which is your bills, income, your savings goal, and then all other spending just goes into one bucket. It's not broken up in that bucket, it's just 
this is all the other spending. The new design I think works a lot better and I'm actually really happy about it. It makes it clear how much money you have left to spend and it also tells you easily like where that money goes and I visually think it's, it's a little bit better. So I'm happy with it now. I'm really trying to focus on simplicity with this MVP which is one of the reasons the app is really just bare bones, simple. It's just doing what it can. All of my other MVPs kind of grow out of scope. So this one we're really trying to hone down on core features. The core things were paycheck to paycheck budgeting, the AI chat, and the AI notifications. So those are literally it. And then what we'll do is we'll build on top of that after launch, just so we find out how the user is using it and what they actually care about. With that in mind, a key step that I miss with all of my apps is just social proofing and seeing if people actually care about the thing that I think they care about. So it's a little late, but I'm still doing it. This, this week I also built out a wait list. So what I'm doing is you can go on this site and you can just enter your information. I'm asking some questions just to help me understand what people want in the product and what they care about. And then this will let us know, you know, if it's something that people actually would want to use or if we're kind of wasting our time. So if this is an app you're interested in, I would really appreciate if you click the link in the description and, you know, fill out the form is quick. Pretty much I only need your email, but there's some other fields in there that'll help me out. And I also did that for my travel app, PIN. So you can, if you're interested in that, click that link too and sign up for that. That one's almost done. And I'll probably make my next video about that. But yeah, I mean, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Uh, I'm going to try to keep these videos coming. I might switch. The next video is going to be about PIN because that's really coming up really close. And I'm excited about that launch. So, yeah. Appreciate it.